Fox 35 Health Alert, 152.7 billion text. That is the amount of text messages that are sent per month in the United States alone. We are all going to have calloused thumbs. <laughs> Thus making it very clear that people are shifting their main way of communicating from voices to hands and fingers. So. What is texting doing to us all physically? Oh, wouldn't we all like to know? Turns out we have an expert to talk about it. Doctors are seeing more patients complaining of tingling, numbness, and pain in their fingers and their wrists. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. So is it just tired hands, or is it something more serious? Here to talk to us about it tonight is Dr. Lawrence Halperin, a hand orthopedic surgeon at the Orlando Orthopedic Center. Dr. Halperin, thanks so much for being with us. Oh, thank you for having me, Amy. All right, so I see you brought a demonstration. This is good. You're going to be able I to did. show us exactly what we're talking about. Is what you're seeing similar to carpal tunnel and all that repetitive movement? What we're seeing in texting is an occasional problem that is that it's not carpal tunnel. What we're seeing is a tendon that gets inflamed. And if you think about it as you're texting and moving your thumb like that, there's a tendon right there that gets moved around. And, and this t is the tendon right over here going towards the thumb. That white thing is a tendon that actually pulls the thumb up and down. And that tendon going back and forth in that little space can get inflamed. So I'm seeing occasional cases of tendonitis from texting. We're not seeing the carpal tunnel syndrome that people get from typing all day. It's a different motion. Okay. So what do you do to cure this? Is this something that you, you suggest a wrist splint or, or is this something you have to do surgery on? Is it ever that bad? Uh, I've never seen a case so bad we had to do surgery from texting. Uh, the, the people who've had it from texting, we've, we've treated with, uh, with uh, someone got better by changing their phone. Hmm. So they put their fingers in different positions. We've treated with some medication. And a couple people, we just slowed them down. Um, uh, certainly tendonitis sometimes needs surgery, but we haven't seen that in the, in the, in the texting people. All right, I got to ask this. What's the typical age range of people that you're seeing who come in to you with this problem? I imagine not a lot of senior citizens. It's not senior citizens, but, but it's, it's more of the, the, the 20s than the teenagers. The teenagers, I think, are so healthy they don't get the problem. The people start, who text a lot in their 20s, we're starting to see a little bit of tendonitis. All right, do you think this is something that you're probably going to be seeing a lot more of in your practice over the months and weeks and years to come? It could be. I have a son who does uh, several thousand texts a, a month. And, oh, my. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he got it one day. <laughs> I bet you love the phone bill at your house. He has unlimited texting. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. All right, Dr. Halpern, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate your insight. Thanks for bringing the chart. That was a good visual. Thanks for having me. All right, well, for most people, it is almost impossible to stop using your mobile devices, your computers, but you can take precautions by stretching and resting your hands and wrists frequently, and as Dr. Halpern said, change out your phone. That might help too. It's good advice.